Hey y'all and welcome to Bonner's Market and welcome to the napkin exchange challenge. This is the cutest little challenge that I've done in a while. This challenge is hosted by Sarah over at Sunflowers and DIYing. Sarah's co-host today is Teresa over at Teresa B DIY. Now the napkins that I'm going to use today came from a friend Jackie over at Mama Mia DIY. Let me show you some of the napkins that Jackie sent. She sent me several. I only used a few, but I just wanted to kind of show you a couple of them. I love the bee one. This one is so country and so cute. Farmhouse. That's an adorable little bird with a hat on. I think I'm going to save that one for my easy peasy lemon squeezy coming up soon. This is really pretty. This one right here is my favorite. I love that. And the rest are, you know, just kind of floral, so I'll skip through them. This one I thought was so stinking cute. It's just like a bunch of farm animals all dressed up for maybe Sunday brunch or church or something. And I use this little square, it's just a square box that you can get from the Dollar Tree that I keep my utensils in, my paintbrushes and things like that. I simply put some Mod Podge on it wrapped it around it. Once I got it wrapped around, I cut off the excess, trimmed down the edge, sanded with my hand sander that you can get from the Dollar Tree across the top, and that was it. And look how stinking cute this little holder came out. I love this. I think it is so cute, and I just love those little animals. They are just adorable. I cut half of them off, but Anyway, <laughs> I love it. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Now, for DIY number two, I'm going to do this cute little beaded garland. Now, when I saw these napkins, I immediately thought about my Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy collab that's coming up soon. And almost saved them for that, but my niece Jessica had asked me for some lemon stuff. So, I went ahead and made these and i'm going to give them to her when i see her next weekend so i'm just putting some mod podge on there i have already removed the second layer to my napkin before i cut it and place it down on there where i can see a good bit of you know some lemons on there cut around the edge once you get the edge cut out i like to mod podge over the top of it to protect protect the napkin and just give it a really nice finish. So once that's done, I set it to the side to dry and go ahead and get my beads ready. I'm gonna use 15 beads and I'm gonna do three different colors. I'm gonna do Scallion by Waverly. And then, you know, I put Daydream on here, but it's actually Daybreak. So it's not Daydream, it's Daybreak by Folk Art. And then the last color, the blue color, is Lagoon, again by Waverly. And I chose those colors because they were the closest to the colors on the napkin. So I went ahead and I painted five of my beads in the Real Pretty Lagoon, five in the Scallion, and five in the Daybreak. And I love painting my beads on a skewer. It gives me so much control. They don't slip, slide, and flip-flop all around. And I just love the control it gives me when I use a skewer. And I actually save my skewers and use them over and over and over for painting beads. So they, you know, you can keep them forever. But once I set those to the side to dry, I went ahead and took a little piece of tape and put it around the tip end of my twine because that just helps me to be able to thread it easier. And I just did kind of like every other color, strung them on there. Once I got them strung on there, then I grabbed my cross and got it ready to tie to the other end. But before I did that, I went in and took my little hand sander from the dollar store or dollar tree and just sanded off not only the leftover napkin, but the little rough edges that those little pieces have on them. Then it was ready to tie to the other end of my little beaded garland. After I got that tied on there, then I was ready to make 
my tassel. Now I'm gonna kind of speed through making the tassel. So if you want to see me making a tassel in a slower version, I'll go ahead and tag a couple videos below where I go a little bit slower. But basically I wrap it around my hands, run a piece of twine through the top, and then cut off the edge even and add another little piece of twine to make the little head for the tassel. And like I said, I know that went kind of quick, so I'll definitely add a couple of other videos for you to watch a slower version. But look how cute this turned out. I love those lemons and I love the colors in the napkin. And I thought I did a pretty good job matching the colors of the beaded garland. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this second DIY. Now for DIY number three, I'm gonna make this cute little cutting board to match the beaded garland I just made. I love these cutting boards for several things, including using it as a cutting board. <laughs> so whenever I find them at the Dollar Tree, I always buy me a few of them. So I'm just gonna take another piece of the napkin and Mod Podge the top of my cutting board, or the bottom of it actually, and then Mod Podge, or I mean glue the napkin to the little cutting board. And then once again, I'm gonna take that Mod Podge and I'm gonna go over the top of that napkin because it does a couple of things. It seals the napkin in and it gives it a really nice finish. You know, just an overall finished look is what you want on every project that you do. So I just added my Mod Podge, put the napkin down. I don't know if I let it dry or not. No, I didn't, I just went ahead straight in and added the Mod Podge. Now you can't really use this for cutting anything on after it gets decorated like this, but it still turns out cute and it's really cute to set like on a tear tray or just set somewhere. Um, but once, it, once this dried, I took the same little sanding block and sanded around the edges. Now this little sanding block with wood gives the cleanest, sharpest, most crisp edges and I just love, love, love doing it like that. So once I got that done, I took some twine because I wanted it to match the theme of the little beady garland that I made. And I wrapped it around probably five or six times. And I was waiting for my glue gun to get hot, so I just taped it down. But once my glue gun got hot, I went back in and just glued it down. Now listen, have you guys seen these beads at the Dollar Tree? I just found them the other day and I was blown away. I have been waiting on Dollar Tree to come out with just plain wooden beads forever and they've finally done it and there's quite a few in there. There's three different sizes and for this little tassel I took three different sizes and used the same exact colors of course that I did on my other beads and painted one each one. Okay let me try that again. Painted each one a different color. <laughs> Lordy have mercy. Y'all know I can't get through a video without getting tongue-tied. So I paint each bead the same colors as I painted the other ones and set them aside and let them dry. Once they dried, or I think I actually helped them dry. I think I, yes, I did. I put them on my little skewer and used my heat gun to dry them. And it literally, when I tell you it takes seconds, it only takes a few seconds with my heat gun because it's so hot to dry them. But you see what I mean about those skewers? I use them over and over and over. Why well, get a brand new one when that one still works, you know? So anyway, again, I took a little piece of tape and put it on the tip end of the twine, and I strung my little beads on there to make a little tassel for my board. Now, I got a phone call and completely forgot to turn the stinking phone back on, but all I did after I did this was made a little finger bow with twine. And how I did that, was I take the twine and wrap it around my finger about 10 times the same way as you would do for a tassel, except then I just tied a piece of twine right around the middle. You see it right there. So I apologize for forgetting to turn the video back on, but that was it. Once I got that bow made, I glued it to the top of this little board 
and I just love the way it turned out. I think it's so stinking cute, and I cannot wait to hear what you think about this little cutting board down in the comments below. Now, let me show you my final reveal on the two pieces that match, and then I will show you my final reveal on the little utensil holder one more time, but look how pretty. This, like I said, those boards are made out of such high quality, and I just thought this little set was the cutest. I'm gonna give them to my niece, Jessica, for her birthday, and I hope to goodness that she doesn't watch this video today to know that, but she had asked me for some lemon things last week for her birthday, so that's what she's getting. But look how cute this little utensil holder turned out. I just absolutely love it, and I think it's so cute, those little animals and everything. So thank you to Sarah for coming up with this cute little napkin exchange challenge. Thank you for being her co-host, Teresa, and thank you, Jackie, for my awesome napkins. If you are new to my channel and you're here from the Napkin Exchange, welcome. My name is Brenda, but my sweet grandbabies call me Moner. I just want to say one more time, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Be blessed. Bye now.